Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we are going to be talking about the collision theory. So let's look at that word that says collision, okay, so we know that the molecules are going to collide. And there's a theory that helps us to determine whether a reaction will take place or not. So let's say we've got two molecules. So we've got molecule A and we've got molecule B floating around in a container. The first thing that definitely has to happen, and I'm sure you would agree with me, is that these two molecules have to collide. So that's number one. Step two, these molecules must collide in the correct way. For some reason, there's, there's random reasons why this occurs, but let's say that this reaction will only work if the green side collides with the blue side. If the pink and the red bump into each other, nothing happens. They're just going to move apart. And so the molecules must collide in the correct orientation. Orientation means the way that they're facing. Okay, so they must have the correct orientation. And then the last and the most important thing that we need is that these molecules must have enough energy. Why? Because if you, when, well, when these molecules react with each other, what typically happens is that these bonds over here are going to have to be broken so that we end up with this. And then, for example, the green might go and attach itself to the red, and then the pink might go attach itself to the blue. But the point is, is that in order to initially have broken those bonds, we needed energy. So we need to have enough energy. And that energy that we need is called activation energy. So that's it, guys. That is the collision theory. Those are the three different things that need to be in place in order for a reaction to take place. First of all, they must collide. That's self-explanatory. They must collide in the correct way. Okay, they must collide in the correct, they must be facing the correct way. And then they also have to have enough energy, and that's called energy of activation.